So today we're talking about agrimony. Agrimony is a state of mind that comes about when you can't talk about how you feel. You've got thoughts going round and round and round in your head. And those thoughts are dominating your life. Now, this can be confused with white chestnut, which is the thoughts going over and over in your head. But this one is normally comes about because you can't speak about how you feel. You feel restricted in your ability to speak. And often this goes right back to childhood where someone's told you not to talk about something, how not to say. Don't fuss about that, don't worry about that, don't talk about it. Often that child will learn to withdraw and become what's called an agrimony child, not talk about feelings or what they're experiencing inside because that's a safe place to be or somebody has told them not to. Either way, it can be a really detrimental way of feeling. It can actually make you feel withdrawn. And it is about torment going over and over in the head. And if you think about like when we talk about something, we share, we feel a sense of relief. Well, when you're in that agreement state of mind, that sense of relief doesn't come. You're having that conversation, you're going over and over and over in your head. Now, what are telltale signs for this state of mind? Often that person will be extrovert on the outside. They'll be the life and soul of the party. They want to be in everyone's company, talking about this, that and everything else, but not talking about how they feel. Because they can't really express how they feel. They don't even understand how they feel. It's just become a mental torment in here. Now, unfortunately, when someone's been in this state for a long while, it can be the state that people go to and instead of sorting their problems, they resort to drugs, which might start as simple medication and then become stronger, or alcohol, or addictive behaviour. So often, this state of mind needs to be supported by something like crab apple, which is about self-acceptance, self-love. They could have been in this state for a long while. The agreement will help them to come out and start gently talking about how they feel. When someone first comes for consultation, this is often the first remedy I would recommend. I would tell them gently that this will help them. If they're not open to it, then they're, maybe they're not ready to come out and speak. But the agrimony, when they choose to take it, will bring them out, enable them to talk about how they feel. It will give them a sense of relief, to feel heard, to feel validated. Because this is often what happens, their feelings have not been validated. And often people will take that back inwardly to I am not validated, which is the crab apple state of mind. So the grimly child who's learned to repress their feelings and what they say becomes the grimly adult. I'm just going to hold that for a moment. Okay, so you'll find a grimly on page 497 of Free to Be Me. When that person is in that state of torment, often they will, if you ask them how they feel, they'll just go, I'm fine. Because they don't want to talk about how they feel or they can't express how they feel. They may not even understand what they're feeling. It comes under oversensitive to influences and ideas. So often their belief patterns have become a response to what other people are giving them. Something's happened in the past other people's influences. Right? And it can feel quite intense in the head. And the emotions that go with it also can feel very intense. It's almost like a feeling of wanting to go inwardly and ah, take this away from me. Well, it doesn't go away. Talking it through can help. Counselling can help. But ultimately, that person does need to start letting go. 
and it does need other support as well. Often when someone's been in this state for a long while, you might need some star battling to support them, to help release the shocks and traumas that they've been through. They might need other types of help and support. There are some natural techniques we can help to release that state of mind, like closing your eyes and just shutting the world out for a while. Just keep coming back to that calm. You could use meditation, you could use Reiki healing. But ultimately, the Grimini is the remedy that would help. Helps bring you into a place where you can talk about your feelings, you can release those feelings, and you start feeling more at peace with yourself. It's like having a nice conversation with somebody, and you get that sense of relief. <laughs>